640,000 years ago. A super volcano erupted, killing millions of prehistoric creatures roaming the ancient landscape. What if an even bigger explosion, a volcanic hyper-eruption, happened today? Could you survive? Yellowstone National Park, Wyoming. The most powerful volcanic event ever witnessed by mankind has just rocked the Earth. A massive shockwave, equivalent to a magnitude 11 earthquake, now radiates out in all directions. 25,000 people are already dead, most of them in the falling buildings of Salt Lake City, 260 miles away. Imagine dropping a concrete brick into a pond. There's the initial splash, but then there's also a whole series of ripples that come out. So after this hyper eruption has exploded, the entire ground is just sending ripples out for hundreds of miles. Four hundred miles to the northeast, in Trenton, North Dakota, oil tanker trains 118 cars long come and go at a shipping terminal. When the shock wave hits, the terminal storage tanks rupture, and with the first random spark, 550,000 gallons of oil explode. These are no ordinary fires. These are fires of black crude oil, which is spewing carbon smoke into the atmosphere. Completely black, completely opaque, completely toxic. Dozens of terminal workers are burned to death in the explosions, and the thick smoke cloud reaches a mile in height. The deadly seismic wave races across the terrain, spreading destruction everywhere it touches. Four hundred miles south of Yellowstone, campers at Utah's Arches National Park suspect nothing as they gaze at the spectacular sandstone landmarks. Arches National Park is a majestic collection of somewhere around 2,000 sandstone arches that have been eroded by wind to leave a gap underneath. Created after the sandstone was exposed to the elements, the arches have taken 15 million years to form. Delicate arch, 65 feet tall, is the most popular and famous the world over. Landscape arch is the longest, stretching 290 feet end to end. And balanced rock Weighing 3,500 tons is an improbable oddity few photographers can resist. Sandstone is not the best building material, and so when you experience a strong seismic shock like this, these arches, which have lasted for millennia, which were patiently carved by rain and flood water, will come tumbling down.
journalists around the world pick up on the story. I'm sure there would be people that think that one or both of these videos being so spectacular were hoaxes. But it doesn't take people long to realize that these two events are real and related. Wow. Video and pictures from both Arches and Yellowstone race around the internet. And as the world gets wind of what's happening in America, the devastation near the eruption site only gets worse. Around Yellowstone's glowing pillar of molten rock, a mushroom cloud forms. This mushroom cloud is being propelled by so much heat that's been generated. It can move higher through the atmosphere than anything we've ever seen like it before. We're talking 40, 50, 60 higher miles into the sky to the edge of space. Seventy-five miles away, a blast of air traveling at the speed of sound reaches the waters of Lake Yellowstone, creating a deadly tsunami. 150 people drown in the onrushing wave. The only survivors are those who make it to high ground. The air blast also generates a deafening sound. It's a phenomenon seen on a much smaller scale in 2014, when the Mount Tavorvor volcano became active in Papua New Guinea. Watch out for the shock, it's coming. The sound of the eruption took about 13 seconds to reach the boat, just under three miles away. The Yellowstone hyper-eruption is thousands of times more powerful. The explosive sound doesn't reach Salt Lake City until long after the initial jolt. That's because the seismic waves travel much faster than sound waves. The Earth is much stiffer than the air, and so disturbances travel much faster through the stiff material. So the seismic waves reach Salt Lake City well before the sound waves do. It takes about 22 minutes before the sound of the explosion is heard in Salt Lake City. The sound of the blast is so loud that even as far as 2,000 miles away, it measures more than 150 decibels. It's like standing next to a jet at takeoff. It is easily enough to rupture people's eardrums. Then the eruption ends, almost as suddenly as it began. A hyper-eruption takes place much faster than an ordinary volcanic eruption. It's over within 10 minutes or so. After the eruption, after the smoke and dust is cleared, there's a crater that's several miles wide. 